If summer's getting you a little hot under the collar, I found a place in Idaho that can solve that problem. Hey everybody, what's up? Well, it's that time again. Time for a change of scenery. It's time to say goodbye to our new little friends and accidentally drive over as many as we can on the way out. And now, a little layover stop in Twin Falls to resupply and get a few things done before we head into the mountains. Twin Falls is right on the edge of the Snake River Gorge. And while we're here, we might as well look at a few things. After we spent the night in the parking lot, lot docking, we head out to our target zone. Idaho is not all about potatoes. The whole northern part of the state is mountains and forests with countless lakes and rivers and pine trees. Well, I'm somewhere in Idaho looking for adventure. And there's no shortage of adventure in this part of Idaho. So we do have our change of scenery, but all is not going as planned yet. There's a place my wife's been wanting to see for a long time, and I've also been wanting to see it, but we can't seem to find a good camping spot that's free and that has service. So we're sort of floating around. We're right here by the Pyatt River. By an awesome little set of rapids. So I need a free camping spot, preferably in the forest. And we need cell phone service. We spent all day yesterday looking for it. This was our second night off the side of the road, basically. Doing some stealth camping, I guess you could say. Not very stealthy, just because we have a truck, a trailer, a Jeep, and a Razor. So when I park somewhere, you kind of notice that I'm there. But we're still stealth camping on the side of the road. I still want to show you guys this area because it's beautiful. It's kind of a mix between Jackson Hole, Island Park, and Jenny Lake, all in one. There's a ton of people here, but it's still quite an amazing place. Now we got to head back to town so I can work on a video. I got to get a video made so you guys can watch it. And then we'll go do some exploring.
We finally did it. The gray wolf has landed and it's a beauty. We got a little reservoir down here. It's Herrick's Reservoir. We spent a good two days looking for this spot and getting our last video ready while we do it. Is it worth it? I think so. So this place has everything we need. Free camping, cell phone service, and we're not off the side of the highway. <laughs> so don't get me wrong, this place has plenty of places to camp. It's basically surrounded by national forests and there's a ton of RV parks, state parks, plenty of places to pay for camping and there's plenty of places for free camping but this is the only one we found with service. So we love it. So now that we've found a place to call home for a while, it's time for adventure. Let's do it. I finally made it to McCall, Idaho. This has been on my bucket list for a long time. Not quite what I expected, but it's a beautiful little resort town. It reminds me of Jackson Hole. I would call this Idaho's Jackson Hole. The only thing it's missing is the Tetons. As you can see, it's got a beautiful lake. And I think that's what most of the people do around here. They come and play on the lake or play in the rivers, fish on the rivers, fish on the lakes. You name it, if there's something in the water you wanna do here, you can do it. I'll even show you a place where you can go surfing up here. Just look at all the boats. And there's cabins, all along the shore of this lake. I went around a ways that way and I can see that way. There's a lot of people that live around this lake. But let's go look at some of the stuff on Main Street so you can get an idea what's here. And then ultimately you can decide if you want to come visit this little town. I'd say it's worth it. I'm definitely not sad I came this far into Idaho to see this little town. It's pretty cool. So it's still really early here. There is not too many people out yet, but this place gets full. So there's plenty of gift shops art galleries, restaurants, whatever you need is right here in McCall. Except for a Walmart. I don't think they have a Walmart. Well, I haven't seen one of those in a long time.
So they even have an indoor hockey rink right here with a bunch of bumper cars. They got a bumper car night. Interesting. So this is where the hockey rink is. They got all their little bumper cars charging. Oh, well, there's even somebody in there on the ice rink practicing their skating. Well, I found a beautiful little park right on the edge of the lake. There's a nice playground over here for your kids. I don't know if you noticed, but it's pretty hazy. We must have a wildfire somewhere. I think I heard there's a big one in California right now, and that's probably where all this smoke is coming from. Okay, here's our official warning. More beauty. This is the Twin Creeks area just north of the lake in McCall. It's beautiful. If McCall's a little too peoply for you and you want to have a little bit mellower of a time, about 26 miles to the south is a little town of Cascade. We got a lake here that's even bigger than the one at McCall. And it has another special little secret that I'll show you after we look at the lake a little bit. This is Cascade Reservoir. Bunch of little state park camping grounds all the way around it. It's just gorgeous up here. We're right in the middle of a heat wave right now. It's so nice to be up here. It's at least a good 10 degrees cooler than it would be back where I'm from. I think we called back home yesterday and it was 104. It's only 94 up here. 
So that's a little bit better. Like I was saying earlier, McCall feels a lot like Jackson Hole. And these lakes around here make it feel like you're in the Tetons, like at Jenny Lake. It's beautiful. This is definitely Idaho's Jackson Hole. We're still at Cascade Reservoir. Just look how empty it is. There's nobody here. Okay, now for the coolest thing I've found in Cascade, Idaho, is Kelly's Whitewater Park. Let's go watch some people have some fun in the river. This Whitewater Park is free to the public, and you can rent your weapon of choice right in the parking lot. They have everything, kayaks, surfboards, inner tubes, or just bring your own. And you can even get kayak and surfing lessons here. Just be careful, there are no lifeguards on duty, so it's up to you to stay safe.
Ready? Ready? Well, that was fun, wasn't it? I came back up to our stealth camping area by the rapid. I want to see some more people go down this rapid and get wet. <laughs> Hopefully we'll see somebody come down and they'll flip their raft, flip their kayak, something.
What an awesome place to enjoy yourself. I hope this gives you an idea about Idaho. It's not all about the potatoes. Thanks for coming on this adventure, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.